Hello dear students, welcome to bio classes. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Ashik Hussain. I have done masters in life sciences from Jamia Millia Islamia. I have qualified CSIR UGC net in life sciences in 2005 and I am teaching life sciences from last 15 years. Dear students, Today, our topic of discussion is cytoplasm. As you know, cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. And each cell is covered by a selectively permeable membrane called as cell membrane or plasma membrane. And beneath this cell membrane or plasma membrane are the various components of the cell in the form of in a jelly like form or in a gelatinous form this gelatinous or jelly like fluid general mass of the protoplasm but excluding the nucleus including all other components is called as the cytoplasm so this cytoplasm is a jelly like fluid general mass of the protoplasm in excluding the nucleus but including all other components is the cytoplasm. Yeah, as you can see in the picture that without this nucleus all other components, the components may be the cell organelles, the fluid part or the cell inclusions. These all components except the nucleus constitute the cytoplasm. This uh, Cytoplasm, we can say now that the cytoplasm is mainly made up of the three elements or the three components cytoplasmic matrix, cell organelles, and cell inclusions. So, the three components of the cytoplasm are cytoplasmic matrix, cell organelles, and cell inclusion. Coming to the first one, that is the cytoplasmic matrix or cytosol or hyloplasm. The Fluid part of the cytoplasm is mainly called as the cytoplasmic matrix or we can say the cytoplasmic matrix is the transparent homogeneous fluid part of cytoplasm. This uh, cytoplasmic matrix exists in the two states, viscous and non-viscous states. The viscous state is mainly called as the plasma gel and is present below the plasma membrane. And thus is also known as ectoplasm or ectoplast. While as the non-viscous uh, state of the cytoplasmic matrix is called as the plasma sole and is present internal to the cell and is thus known as the endoplast or endoplasm. And there are various chemicals present in the cytoplasmic matrix. As you can see in the figure that the outer part of the cytoplasmic matrix is called as the ectoplasm while as the internal part is called as the endoplasm. Now there are various chemicals in the cytoplasmic matrix. Some of these chemicals form a true solution with water or in water uh, while as some of the chemicals such as proteins form a colloidal solution with water. So we can say that the cytoplasmic matrix is a crystallocolloidal complex in the water because some of the chemicals are present in the form of a true solution while as such as um, sugars, amino acids while as some of the chemicals are present in the form of the colloidal solution. So this cytoplasmic matrix is crystal, crystallocolloidal complex in water. So, this was all about the cytoplasmic matrix. The another component of the cytoplasm are the cell organelles. The cell organelles are the subcellular structures with characteristic morphological forms and definite functions. So, the subcellular structures having the characteristic morphological form with a definite functions are, the, are called as the cell organelles. There are a number of cell organelles in a cell or in a cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells such as endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, lysosomes, vacuoles, mitochondria, plastids 
extra and extra. Out of these cell organelles, the four organelles remain in coordination with each other. These four organelles are endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, lysosomes and vacuoles. And they together constitute a system called as the endomembrane system. The another component of the cytoplasm are the cell inclusions. The non-living substances present in the cytoplasm or present in the cells constitute the cell inclusions. So the no cell inclusions are the non-living substances present in the cytoplasm or present in the cytoplasm cell are the called as the cell inclusions. They are also called as ergastic bodies or deutoplastic substances. They may be present in the form of organic materials such as glycogen granules, starch granules or may be present in the form of inorganic crystals. So hope you might have understood each and every concept of the cytoplasm. Thank you. See you in the next class.